bitterness and the resentment and the jealousy. We've seen it pervasive through uh, PG Tour membership and some of the infighting and what not to do uh, with creating a pathway back for live players. Like that's so counterproductive to what they should be doing. If this was left up to the PG of America and the players on the US team, I think it would be a much high, higher bar to clear. I think because the DP World Tour has shown a degree of flexibility, I think they're going to be more open to the idea that this is something that not only can we do, but we probably should do. This is our most important property as a tour. That's essentially the engine that makes everything work on the European tour. That's where they get the vast majority of their funds. So you need to make sure that's the best product possible. And that means making sure that those players who went to live, not only the ones like John Rahm, who are clearly an important part of the team, but also those players that you just pointed out, the ones that are the up and comers, the ones that are every two years, that most Americans haven't heard of, and they end up winning four points, and we're all sitting, sitting there going, what, what happened? Like, those are the players you also need to watch out for.